morning to everyone and welcome dear learners to this class of PLIS first first form 102 that is library classification theory so we will try to cover up four in one unit that is elements of library classification as well as the classification concept terminology need and purpose of library classification so what classification is exactly? It is to classify, right? To keep it in groups. Like you all are start sitting over here. You boys are there, others girls are there. So when we divide them into boys and girls, and again to the age and to the sex, you know, and to the qualifications, and that is the grouping. All right, same thing applies to the library and information science because the area is very, very vast. We have number of books available in the library and to keep those books properly in an arranged manner so that users should not feel any kind of difficulty to locate the book, we need to do classification. So uh, I'm Dr. Babita Gaur, I'm from University of Delhi, Gandhi College, and I have 22 years of experience, professional experience. Uh, prior to uh, working here in Gandhi, I worked with many organizations, and just before that, I was with Delhi Public Library as senior information officer. So we we'll start with this. So library classification is organized in the same manner or differences so that the readers can easily access the books because it is difficult to find books without classification. Here, the readers come to the library for document. As we know that we always go to the library to find a desired document. Is it okay if I speak in Hindi as well and English as well? Because without it, the work of the library is not able to run smoothly. 
क्योंकि जब बहुत सारी चीजें इकट्ठी पड़ी होंगी तो यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू फाइंड आउट डिफ्रेंशिएट कि आपको ढूंढना कहा है अनलिमिटेड एक्सपेंशन ऑफ बुक्स बहुत सारी किताबें हैं हंड्रेड थाउजेंड इवन लैक्स ऑफ बुक्स आते हैं सो बिकॉज इट्स एक्सपेंडिंग बढ़ रही है सो दैट इज वाई वी नीड टू क्लासीफाई then we have the subject complexity that is different kind of subjects are there history geography biology then uh, uh, you know in sciences like we have a subject on uh, science suppose so science mein bhi kya hoga then there would be chemistry physics biology then even then in biology there would be heart lungs so it's going you know that classification is going on according to the subject so we need to classify to keep the books in proper order so that the books would be easily be able to find out for an example here in uh, shahid rajgur college we are having the sfm classes so there are classes related to mlis plis and then uh, you know uh, we go on and go for different different classes so we have segregated those in a very very simple terms for you people to understand dear students just imagine that lot of things are there and you need to segregate group them and keep them in a proper order okay so it's very easy though it's very difficult it is up to you the more you go into the details the more you read it the more you would be able to do it through the practical approaches all right so here you can see that the number represent the subject matter of the document and form the component of a call number so there is classification number call number group number all right so here you can see uh, distinguish one document from the other document on the same subject suppose again i am uh, coming to an example of history so history of india or medieval history of india or history of the world subject is same Has same history, like it's अलग अलग है. If you go to university library, there are lot many books in lakhs. So that classification again segregating. If you go to a college library, again lakhs of books, but number must be less. If you go to a school library, number would be very less. If you go to specialized library, number would be different. So that is why to create distinguishness. among the reading materials either the reading material or in the form of you know cds we have we have different materials like books uh, chart papers charts we have almanacs we have uh, you know uh, e resources e forms books so we have to segregate so several methods of forming book number that exist and any of them may be used for the purpose the book number is the, the second component of a call number when you have the practical class it will be more clear to you for the convenience of readers and also for managing library services more efficiently library establish different collections and different purposes like r is for reference f for fiction right few books we keep it in the reference section you know what is reference section of the library Okay, reference section where you can just refer the book. You cannot take it home, but you can study over there in the library. ठीक है आप वहीं बैठ के उन पुस्तकों को पढ़ सकते हैं. आप उसको इशू करके नहीं ले जा सकते. So you can refer those books. So that is the reference section. So when we uh, uh, you know classify the books according to a classification system, we need to classify which is fiction, which is reference, and Uh, the collection where the document belongs this facility this facility for recall and replacement of documents kyun zaruri hai ab jab aap aur is professional field mein aur aage aa jayenge so then you come to know when you uh, go to the library you find different sections different stack areas where the books are arranged and few books are very big in size that also we need to arrange few books are very little small in size those books we also need to arrange so there is a specific numbers that we need to get and then we have the different schemes 
यूनियन मेथडोल होता है तो ये सारी टर्मिनोलॉजी धीरे धीरे करके जब आप वन टू वन क्लास में आएंगे इट विल बी मोर क्लियर टू यू बिकॉज दिस इज यस्ट क्लास एंड बींग एज ए लाइब्रेरी स्टूडेंट इट इज ऑल्सो योर फर्स्ट क्लास so when you gradually go one by one to chapterization you will come to know what exactly and how you can use these uh, terminologies in your uh, area of library and information science and next it also helps the management operation management operations kyunki sab kuch agar hum ikattha rakh denge jaise abhi yahan par dusri class ke students aa gaye the right so they will also be suppose they are here so they will not be able to understand and i will also not to able to do the justice right so that is why we have been classified few students here related to this proper category other students in different category right so that would be easier for the user as well as to the facilitator and the one who classify this the scheme is called the classification scheme जो स्कीम को बनाता है उसको क्या बोलते हैं क्लासिफिकेशनिस्ट राइट और जो क्लासिफाई करता है उसको क्या बोलते हैं क्लासिफायर ओके सो वी एज अ प्रोफेशनल लाइब्रेरियंस वी एज अ क्लासिफायर यू वुड बी द क्लासिफायर ओके नाउ ओपैक यू नो और ओके ओके ऑल राइट opac means online public access catalog okay and there is one terminology is web opac so that is it is available on the web matlab yahan ka agar hum dekhe to that would be available in opac but if somebody wants to see from the outside the premises on the internet that would be web opac clear all right so after this it helps in management operations then collection of statistics stock verification assessment and use of smell of collection so stock verification means when you have lot many books in your library and you want to check which books are missing which are books are there how many books are there so this is also possible when we do the classification theek hai so it has in stock verification it has also has in uh, or the collection statistics ki hamare pas kitni is particular subject ki pustake uplabdh hai hamare library mein theek hai so ye is cheez ke liye help karta hai then basis it is grouping analysis of reference and queries of library users book selection etc please change so library classification is a system of organization of knowledge because we have lot many things stored right i think the concept is very clear to all of you ab koi doubt nahi reh gaya jo bahut bada ek tha mind mein ki pata nahi kya cheez hai you know classification so it's not very difficult but of course you need to be systematically known to this you should understand it and then when we go for depth classification through your practical classes also then you will come to know you know how it is working how the scheme works right so different matters we will be teaching you we can't any attendance can be attendance this is a so uh, ये अब दिस इज योर अटेंडेंट चीज यू जस्ट राइट योर नेम एंड देन पुट योर डिटेल्स सब को दे देना मान लो ठीक है सो वी विल बी आल्सो कम टू नो अबाउट द डिफरेंट फेजेस ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन सिस्टम एंड व्हिच अलाउज द असाइनमेंट ऑफ मल्टीपल क्लासिफिकेशंस टू एन ऑब्जेक्ट एंड एजिंग द क्लासिफिकेशन टू बी ऑर्डर्ड इन मेनी वेज नेक्स्ट now for the library information aspect it is distinct from scientific classification and that is the goal to provide useful ordering of documents rather than a theoretical organization of knowledge so it has the practical purpose of creating a physical ordering of documents it does generally attempt to adhere to accepted scientific knowledge and it also helps to accommodate all the newly published literature in an already 
created order of arrangement in a pillar sequence. So suppose, uh, for example, we are using CC, that is colon classification. There are different schemes of classification. Okay. Just like I have told you, TBC or CC, colon classification. So suppose I am using in my library colon classification. So whatever new material I have got, new books I have got, those books would be arranged according to the classification scheme that I am using. It will not be like that I am using CC and DBC together because that would create a problem. Right? यहाँ पर M D के student B D के और M D के student आ जाएंगे, so it will be create a problem. ठीक है? Same way, if library we are using whichever system we are using, we need to arrange those material in the same manner in which we are using the scheme of classification. Whether it is coded classification uh, or D B S in the classification or U B C classification. Now, we also have here the subject headings, different headings. So, classification is meant to achieve the purpose like ordering the fields of knowledge in a systematic way, being related together in the most helpful sequence. Ultimately, goal is to help the reader. This is the ultimate goal. So, can you see that you have to do a lot of numbers in your library and you have to do a lot of work on your website. So, the number is very small and very small. This is because the number is very small. This is because the subject had it and the systematic order that we are having in our library and the collection. Okay, and the collection. So, the number is very small and the number is very small. So, that is why the number increases. If the collection is too big, too large, and that classification is there, the number would definitely be big. Otherwise, it will be small. Like for B, B, B is the symbol for history. For example, I'm saying. So, if you have a target of history, history, if you have a target of history, 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 so it will not be difficult. But if you have thousands of history books, then you need to go into B, that. Right? So different, uh, you know, the, the, the scheme, whichever you're using, the number would be larger. And in that way, what happens is, if you have the ready-made numbers, then you have the ready-made numbers. That is the enumerated scheme of classification. But then you think that we need to uh, think and see what the scheme is, and accordingly, we have to provide the number. Do you understand here? Do you understand? Right, very good. Clapping for you all. <laughs> all right. So we have the DDC, that is DV decimal classification scheme. Then we have UDC, that is universal decimal, uh, uh, decimal classification scheme. Then we have CC, that is the colon classification scheme. So in library you will find DDC, and in two libraries you will find the CC. And आपको कुछ क्वेश्चन लगेगा ना हाउ वुड यू फाइंड द बुक आप एस एल लीमेन इफ यू गोट टू लाइब्रेरी हाउ वुड यू फाइंड द बुक दिस इज थ्रू द कैटलॉग कार्ड्स ओके उस थ्रू द कैटलॉग कार्ड्स यू कैन सी देखा है एवरीबॉडी हैज सीन द कैटलॉग कार्ड्स हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू हैज सीन द कैटलॉग कार्ड्स इन द लाइब्रेर and otherwise, now we have the OPAC and the OPAC. So through the OPAC computer, when you type it, it will show the number. From there also you can find out. Or if you know the author name, you can search. You can search through the subject. You can search through the publisher also. Subject, publisher, author. Through all these you can search. Even the keywords from the keywords you can search. So this is how it works. And then. Um, so arrangement of book now what it says classification हम आज थोड़ा सा history में चली जा रही हूँ classification was preceded by classification used by different authors such as Conrad Lessing या next तब भी type करेंगे you will find out about the class this person so the earliest library classification scheme organized by 
what subject categories jaise abhi i just spoke to you history english science right so these are the broad categories is there science mein bhi kya aa gaya this history uh, physics chemistry biology and then physics mein bhi a uh, different different physics for example quantum mechanics quantum mechanics very good and then cyber third yes so that would be the uh, again in the physics there are categories okay same way me earlier it was the broad classification 50 books hain five five karke maine divide kar diya but if i have thousands of books so that means it requires the deep classification so uh, the earliest known library classification scheme is the pinnick by rekel you know see purana history hai you might have a question related to history so uh, you just go through this that thing you have to cram right other things you can imagine and you can understand and with the practice you would be able to do a few things in history especially you need to cram few words right so that you need to cram so so a scholar of the library of alexandria during the 3rd century bc this is the history so during the reformation era libraries were organized according to the base of knowledge of the individuals in charge suppose i am the librarian and i am classifying the things so i am using cc or udc tdc so i also use my uh, uh, you know knowledge about you know how best i can do it with the classification scheme that i have samajh me aa raha hai all right very good students so the chain in the format of various materials was classified various materials matlab i have very good books the schools mein dekha hoga aapne bachcho ki badi badi pustake hoti hain hai na pictorial books so we can categorize those as a pictorial books and we can also categorize them as abc books or whatever i'm just give an example that like how you can classify the books that are available differently keeping the books in in a proper array and manner in a library so that anybody can go and use those books so the change format in um, which various materials are class some class collections were classified by language and others by how they were printed so classification may up to what depth aa jata hai like urdu ki kitabe hain हिंदी की किताबें हैं इंग्लिश की है मलयालम की है कनाडा की है पंजाबी की है
is generally seen as the first of the modern book classification. So, Brunet provided five major classes: theology, jurisprudence, sciences, arts, best letters, and history. Classification now can be seen as a provider of subject access to information in the natural environment. Now, not many books, not many subjects. Because now, which you are taking, like COVID has come. It was not there earlier, so a new subject has come. You know, and we need to keep the books related to COVID in a uh, classified order. So, how we'll do this? Right. This is through the scheme of classification. And you might have seen a CC. You seen a CC? They have colon classification. It's 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 just like it's easy book. Hai. This much is the size of the book, and it has universal of knowledge. We have the seventh edition now of CC and twenty third edition of GDC. TV decimal classification. So, in this small book, we have lakhs of classification. How is it possible? How is it possible? It is true that the scheme is made in such a way that when we know about the scheme and when we start practicing it, we don't find it difficult to classify the books. Like the new subject COVID has come, so that subject also can be accommodated through the classification scheme. But it was very early. So it is the beauty of classification. Okay. So there are very different standards like universal classification, universal schemes covers all subjects. For example, DV decimal classification. Universal Decimal Classification, Library of uh, Congress Classification and Colon Classification. The main main thing that you have to remember Then specific classification schemes mein kya hai? Covers particular subjects or types of materials like arts, music and then music, medicine. Us samay ye, ye kuch particular subjects ko bhi involved kya gaya tha. Now we have national schemes. The specially created for certain countries. This is Swedish Library Classification Scheme has system has uh, SAB, Savage, Element Bibliotechy, Forensic. In terms of functionality, classification systems are often described as <laughs> next one enumerative. Up to me, enumerative ki baat karechi. Enumerative means something that is dedicated. Okay. So subject heading are listed. Alphabetically, with numbers assigned to each heading in alphabetical order. So, when you scheme, you can see the scheme you see the scheme yourself. TDC or CC or UDC. Then you find out you know, how the numbers are written in alphabetical order. Then how you can uh, merge those numbers, club those numbers to make a new uh, Classification number. Every book has different number. Lakhu kitabi. Matlab saat aat lakh, dus lakh, bara lakh kitabi hai. Hum sab ki aapko different different particular place mil ga. Like Anita is sitting here, so she will have the seat here. Rahul is sitting here, so he will have the seat here. So particular uh, space for a particular book. और अच्छे से आपको क्लियर हो जाएगा एक प्रत्येक पुस्तक का अपनी जगह पर स्थान अकॉर्डिंग टू दी नीड कि जहां उसको होना चाहिए ऐसे नहीं कोई कहीं भी भीड़ है तो आप कितने सिस्टमेटिकल बढ़ेंगे अब रोल नंबर से बैठे फॉर एग्जांपल तो रोल नंबर से बैठे हुए भी क्या होगा यहां पर एक से लेकर 10 तक के रोल नंबर गए यहां पर गर्ल्स बैठी हैं बॉयज बैठे हैं so, systematic arrangement. Same we apply to the library science also. Okay. So, here is the hierarchical. That is, subjects are divided hierarchically from most general to most specific. So, what is Most general means a particular area 
जैसे हिस्ट्री या आप ले लीजिए बायोलॉजी या आप ले लीजिए संस्कृत या हिंदी अब हिंदी में भी आपने हिंदी में रंग दी किताबें आपके पास सौ किताबें हैं एंड देन फ्रॉम सौ किताबों में से कालिदास के ऊपर कितनी किताबें हैं राइट महाभारत में कितनी है रामायण में कितनी है तो दैट वुड बी द स्पेसिफिक स्पेसिफिक से आपका जनरल से मोस्ट स्पेसिफिक आ गया वॉट इट लास्ट लास्ट में आपको समझ में आ रहा है स्पेसिफिक से जनरल से मोस्ट स्पेसिफिक जैसे आप लोग पढ़ाई करते हैं आपने इंडस्ट्री के जी फर्स्ट सेकेंड थर्ड टेंथ ट्वेल्थ कर लिया देन मोस्ट स्पेसिफिक आपने बी एल आई एस किया कि आपको पता है विच एरिया यू नीड टू गो देन यू डिट एम एल आई एस एंड देन यू डिट यू नो नेट क्वालिफिकेशन देन पी एच डी सो दैट इज मोस्ट स्पेसिफिक और राइट सो हियर फ्रॉम जनरल टू मोस्ट स्पेसिफिक देन वी हैव दी प्रेजेंटेड एनर्जी को सिंथेटिक सो वॉट इज इट सब्जेक्ट आर डिवाइडेड इन टू म्यूचुअली एक्सक्लूसिव ऑर्थो जूनियर प्रेजेंट मतलब ग्रुप्स में उनको डिवाइड कर दिया जाता है सो देर आर फ्यू कंप्लीटली एन्यूमरेटेड सिस्टम और प्रेजेंटेड सिस्टम कई रेडीमेड है जो पर्टिकुलर उस सब्जेक्ट एरिया से रिलेटेड है तो मोस्ट सिस्टम आर अ ब्रेंड ऑफ बट फेवरिंग वन टाइप और दी अदर लाइक इफ यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट कंट्रीज फॉर एग्जाम्पल इंडिया इंग्लैंड यूरोप राइट एंड देन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट यू नो इंडिया में दिल्ली दिल्ली में भी पर्टिकुलर कॉलेज सो अगेन इट इज कमिंग टू डेथ मोर डेथ सो द नंबर्स फॉर इंडिया वुड बी सेम इन अ पर्टिकुलर क्लासिफिकेशन स्कीम राइट रिलेटेड टू कंट्री तो पहले हम वर्ल्ड का देखेंगे फिर कंट्री वर्ल्ड में फिर एशिया राइट एशिया में फिर कंट्री में इंडिया ओके इंडिया में भी फिर इस पर्टिकुलर एरिया एंड देन उस पर्टिकुलर एरिया में पर्टिकुलर दिल्ली एंड पर्टिकुलर दिल्ली में दिस सो मोस्ट कॉमन क्लासिफिकेशन सिस्टम आर एल सी सी एजीसी आर एसेंशली एन्यूमरेटिव दो सब हायर की कल हायर की कल मतलब एक एक करके हायर की जैसे आप बैठे कैसे हैं आप अभी यहाँ नीचे डस्ट है फिर ऊपर डस्ट है है ना देन हायर की कल ऑर्डर दिस इज हायर की कल ऑर्डर समझ में आ रहा है